I'm Sarah Noble. And I'm Roman Gradford. I'm going to talk about the equipment lab and the, ma the major features of the oscilloscope, um, a power supply, and a function generator. This is a triple output power supply. It has three possible output power outputs. You'll choose which output you want to adjust over here. You adjust the six voltage output over here, plus and minus 20 output volts over here for the voltmeter the bottom numbers tell you what's tell you what's going on for the six volt top numbers for the 20 volts and here's how to turn it on and then this is our common ground that we're going to use when we use it this is our oscilloscope the power button this knob changes the focus this just changes the intensity and then you can um, change it whether it talks about these or whether it's talking about that that's easy um, AC is for an alternating current, GND is for ground, you can see that, and then DC is for a direct current. Triggering is found on the right side, and so this changes the level at which it'll be triggered or what height. Um, you can change whether it's positive or negative by changing the slope. Our modes for triggering are auto, auto it'll always trigger. Normal, you can adjust it with level, and if you get outside of the signal, it'll disappear. And then a single sweep is if you if you have to press ready, and it'll show you one trick. Displaying multiple channels requires alternate or chop modes, which are here. Alternate completes one sweep on channel one, then one sweep of channel two, and we use this for medium or high signals. And we can see that it's taking one from channel one and then one from channel two. Our chat mode will be used uh, for when we have slow signals and it causes a skill scope to draw small parts of each signal. The XY mode allows us to put an input signal rather than time based on the horizontal axis and what's showing is called a list view figure. The cursor, the cursor is found up in the corner and you can turn it on with the on button. And what it does is it allows you to make waveform measurements automatically on the screen and you can do it on the Y axis, the T axis, one over T, and then to change the position you just move your knob. The alt mag mode is found underneath the horizontal and what it does is zoom in us a portion of your um, signal and you can zoom it in one times, ten times, or fifty times. So we can use the storage function when we have a fast moving signal and we can turn it on and your options are 25 and 75 percent. When you have it on 25 percent it's gonna get all of the data before it is triggered and then it'll show your event. Whereas 75%, if you want to view it more as what happens before an event is triggered, then you would switch it to that. A function generator has two outputs, the regular output and the trigger output. The regular output will output a signal as either a sine, triangle, square, or whatever this kind of wave is. The trigger output will output a signal if the regular signal output is increasing. VCO, or voltage controlled oscillator mode, causes the function generator to take some input voltage and uses that to determine the frequency of the output signal. This is our pulse wave and it's a periodic waveform consisting of instantaneous transitions between two, two levels. Um, we can change the duty width by pulling the knob out and it's, the duty is a percentage of time that the signal is high and so we can change it to a higher percentage or a lower percentage. The offset knob allows you to apply a voltage offset to the output signal, allowing you to increase or decrease the voltage without changing the amplitude. Input or the exit input takes a reading from wherever you're getting a signal and will tell your oscilloscope to make a pulse if a threshold is met. And so, um, your exit output is telling your oscilloscope what to read and then your manual button will manual, manually trigger that one pulse.